and the Pacers had a lot to do with it, so I'm not going right. to take anything from the Pacers, but the Suns have gone on a tremendous run, and so it's going to be some blips, and you're going to lose a home game, and the goal really within the team is, okay guys, we lost it game to the Pacers. They're a very good team. So it wasn't like it was It was a team that really is struggling this year. We know that they can win. Okay, now we got to go get one on the road that equals our loss to the Pacers here at home. Right. And so that's part of the goal there. Sounds like to be 25-12 and 12, uh, after this game. And I don't think anybody felt that the Suns would be sitting with the one of the best records in the NBA at 25 and 12. So I don't think Marty's going to read a ton into this other than a teaching moment. And I think it's the, it's the third quarter with the energy level. Yeah. Yeah, and, and what we've seen is with those previous losses in this 20-game stretch, the, the loss to Brooklyn where they had the fourth quarter collapse and, and Charlotte, uh, each one of those losses resulted in a tremendous response. And you, you might say if Kareth LeVert played last night, <laughs> Pacers may have come away with a win last night as well. Payne inside to Dario, able to trickle it in, final seconds. Pacers come through with an impressive performance on both ends of the floor here tonight, and they will get out of town. With their 17th win of the season, the Suns will fall to 25 and 12. With our final score, Indiana winning at 122 to 111. Don't forget the next Suns game on Fox Sports Arizona is coming up Monday. When the Suns play host to the Memphis Grizzlies. Coverage can get away at 6:30 p.m. For Eddie Johnson, I'm Kevin Ray saying so long from downtown Phoenix. Stay tuned for Suns Live with your hosts Tom Leander and Tom Chambers. Hey, we want to thank Western Union Key Park for the sponsor of the Gentleman 2021 season. The three team to go. Now, he sees the Nuggets average 115 points per game. They only have 95. But I'm sure Bill Tuck Porter coming in off the glass to himself, and he scores it. Well, he couldn't, he, or at least he didn't feel like he could get it curled up to the backboard. And so he just threw it straight up, tried to fight that pressure. Good move. You can't get an assist to yourself. But you know, Porter now has 21 points, eight rebounds. Brunson lets it go. And well, it's well, volley balled out. That might, well, he might be a little tired because he's got to do a better job on that glass right there. Oh, Porzingis. Wow. Kristaps Porzingis with a 36-footer. Well, listen, we said this before the game. If this guy gets healthy, gets back right, folks, they, they called him the unicorn a couple of years in New York for a good reason because he could do everything. And now all of a sudden, if he's shooting with that kind of confidence from 32 feet, that's pretty good. That's Michael. He, he keeps a palm to one hand, so he just threw it up there. Knew he mm -hmm. couldn't curl it up for that initial layup. So the Mavs uh, leading 114 to 97. You take a good look at Rick Carlisle, a very uh, prestigious coach, decorated coach. But did you know that he's a big time Grateful Dead fan? says he has attended 25 to 30 of their concerts, including one 35 years ago, which he and Celtics teammates, Larry Bird, Kevin McHale, Robert Parrish, stood on the side of the stage with Bill Walton, the ultimate grateful dead groupie. Well, Rick Carlisle doesn't look like a, a grateful dead fan, but uh, Carlisle was a, a wild... Uh, 
a wild child in his younger days. I, I, Hung out at the beach a little, played a little beach volleyball. Saw, Hung around Walton. Saw the dead once at the yeah. old McNichols Arena. Do you remember much of it? Uh, I do. I, I know you didn't want to walk around the concourse for very long. <laughs> And why is that? <laughs> yeah, at least no one was wearing masks. <laughs> That's why. You could have used a mask oh, back yeah. in the day. But it, and I, I love the music too. But yeah, I guarantee it was Walton's influence that got Carlisle into the dead. Bull Bull just checked in. Josh Green has come in for Dallas. Najee is back in. So this game effectively over now. Greg Winnington, haven't seen him. Whittington is a two-year player, a two-way player for the Denver Nuggets. There he is right there, looking for his first points in the NBA, and he falls short. That's right, the old Sambor shovel. Over under 12, 20, 223. Don't think they're going to get there. But you never know. Now, Bull Bull guarding Brunson. Brunson right by. No, missed it. Najee the rebound. Marcus Howard. Bull pulls up. Najee after it. Good rebound. Howard. And Howard knocks it in. So Marcus Howard, 3 for 22 on threes prior to that one. Knocks it in. Don't forget the Toyota Locker Room Report coming up next. Uh, Malone's press conference. That should be interesting. Player interviews and more. And Bowl with the rebound. Now Bowl. Way downtown. And he knocks in the three. Way to go, Bowl, Bowl. And Malone likes that. It's interesting. I had someone ask me about Bowl. How come he's not playing? How come he's not getting a chance? Yeah, said, how come you know, he's not playing? Sometimes you have to make your way in the NBA, Michael Malone, working with him now pre-game, trying to bolster his confidence and get that enthusiasm level up. Uh, hey, listen, you got nine games in college, right? And so there's a whole lot of uh, a learning skill that you want to go. You're also talking about a team that was in the Western Conference Finals last year where they're, they're just going to put you on the floor. You know, you got to yeah. earn, earn your minutes. And but a lot of young guys, a lot of young guys have the Allen Iverson mentality practice what do you mean practice <laughs> you know and, and and really that's the only time that, i mean that, that's how we saw uh, hampton get some time this year and zeke get some time this year and, and michael always talked about how hard they practice hey nuggets fans burke simpson reminds you that when the game is on the line you can call 303-790-2525 burke simpson good lawyers changing lives well this has been a, a, a disappointing start to the homestand. Uh, one way to think of it, the Nuggets playing last night in Memphis and then flying home late on the back-to-back -back of a double. First time they've had the back-to-back -to -back on the road and then well, at home. And, and then you, you wonder the factor of you, you've had a certain starting lineup for five straight games that you won all five, yeah. and now all of a sudden that's gone. Right, and, and you and you lose that continuity of the it. continuity of it, and, and, and everything else. Well, Howard called for the foul, and Brunson will head to the line. This Mavericks team got off to a very slow start this year. They had some guys out. They're trying to kind of like the Nuggets in a way. The Nuggets recovering quicker. Uh, but the Mavericks starting to play pretty good basketball. They went four of their last five. This will be five of their last six. Here's a good look at Tyler Bay, no relation to our producer, Scotty Bay. A Colorado product, played three seasons for the Buffs, a second rounder. I wonder if Chris Dems can get an autograph after the game. Maybe. MPJ, the bright spot here in the fourth quarter was 17. Hey, hey, how, did, how did the second half of that Oregon CU game go, Chris? <laughs> Let's not talk about that right now. It's, uh, it's, it's not pretty. 
Um, Tyler Bay, incidentally, was right there next to Zeke Naji. Those two were foes in the Pac-12 conference just a year ago, so uh, they know each other really well. And yes, I'm getting a jersey and an autograph from Tyler Bay, Scotty. <laughs> you know, Dibs, I've got a Colorado sweatshirt stored in my house. It's, uh... It's up on the upper shelf, and I never look at it. No, you should wear it. No, no, no. I wear my San Diego State gear. And and actually, gotta, you know what? If you bring it to me, I will autograph that for you. You. <laughs> and, and, and we got to we talk to our points bet at people and see when Marcus Hire plays and, you know, the over-under on shots. That dude can get some shots up, man. He, he is quick shooter. Well, that is.